Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Potter and I have another unboxing. I got some packages in today and I'm opening them right now. Um, I ordered some more plants online and they just got here. So I just want to make sure that they're in good condition. Um, I had class today and I wasn't really aware that my packages were coming in today. Um, we've been studying a lot for boards in our exam. So, actually this is real funny because I ordered some glasses and they came in. So, I ordered some glasses from Fermu. So, this is actually not plants. This one's actually glasses. And if you want to see my glasses collection, I can do a video on that because I actually have quite a few glasses I've purchased from Fermu and I buy direct. But yeah, so this is my box from Thailand. They had um they had put string to tie the box around. And that's the front. They taped it really good. Um, I just hope that they're doing well. Um, they came all the way from Thailand, so that's a trip, a big trip they had to do. And I, on my first unboxing of my Hoyas from Adenium Rose, I have a little update on those. Um, they're actually not doing too good and I'm really worried about them. Um, they're right here in back of me. Um, so some of the leaves have fallen off and there's some yellowing and the, the leaves that were damaged during shipping, they didn't survive, so they fell off. And some of them are just wrinkled and ready to come off. But um, I think I can try to save them but we'll see this is box I think this is probably packaged really well because um I don't know I just have a good feeling that this seller just knows how to send his plants across seas already I don't know I could be wrong I already like how he's packaging so he or she sorry um, so they came in some newspaper which is really cool because I don't like packing peanuts that's just really messy all right so this is some paperwork which um, they have to provide in order to bring the plants over here This is the phytosanitary certificate comes in, which they ship from Bangkok, Thailand. I'm trying to see. It says the plants were dipped with imidacloprid in the ratio of 0.03% for one minute. I'm not sure what that means. I'm not that great. Oh, and this is where I want to show you my invoice. So I purchased these myself from this um, company, PP Plants, online of course. And I ordered a Cantiana Variegata, a Hoya Embricata, a Hoya Hush. Kiliana variegata and a ficus sweetheart leaves albo marginata. So that's what I ordered. I spent a total of $123. It was $60 for just the plants, and then I paid shipping $53 for um, a little bit faster shipping. And then you also have to pay yourself for the, the sanitary certificate fee. So that's my total. Right. So, 
Let me see. I feel like cuttings, but I could be wrong. I just hope they're in good condition. Okay, so this is my ficus. Yeah, my ficus. Sweetheart. There's already some really brown leaves, but I mean, they're probably dead and then just packaged. I mean, there's some brown leaves on these ones and it's a really cute plant. Um, and they also labeled it, which is really nice. These are the leaves that didn't make it. And I'm okay with that because there's still leaves on the plant, which is very nice. So this is my ficus. I've been wanting one. I've been seeing these like all over Instagram and um, hopefully this one doesn't die on me. Kind of looks really sad already but I mean the leaves are on there so I feel like it's established okay so I'm going to go into it some more so it's labeled right here ficus sweetheart and I want to make sure that it's a rooted plant because I paid a lot of money for these and it doesn't say that they're cuttings so I just want to make sure I'm getting what I pay for. I'm not like too familiar of things being shipped across these. It looks like it's shipped in moss. And like for my Hoyas back here, I, I tried to let them acclimate, but they just looked really sad, so I potted them up. And that's when the leaves started falling out, so maybe I messed up by potting it up too soon and not letting it acclimate. Well anyways, it doesn't want to really come out of the moss, and it looks like it'll be cleaner if I just keep it in the moss in the bag. But honestly, it does not look like it has roots. So I'm a little worried. I'll keep you guys updated though. And the seller used some staples to hold the newspaper together. So this is my Hoya Imbricata. I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried, but we'll see. I think um, after the video, I'm really going to have to take them out of the moss to see if they have roots because I'm really worried that they don't. Um, yeah, so this is my Imbricata. One of the leaves is yellowing right here. I'm not sure if that's natural, but it just looks so crazy. My ficus I spent $10 and my Hoya Bricotta I spent $10. So this is my Hoya Kentiana Vergata. It's so pretty. I like it. It looks healthy. Looks like it was grown outside. Has little dark spots. Um, I'm really happy. It looks really cute. So there you go, that's the name right there. It looks really healthy. I mean, we need some water probably, but. So my Kentiana, I spent $20 on my Kentiana. It's um, Huge Kiliana, Huge Kiliana Vergata. So let's see. I think this is a fair amount of plant size considering they have to be shipped and everything. Um, so, ooh, I like this one. All right. 
So this one has really small leaves too. So yeah, this is the name. Um, has some black spots on it too, I'm sure from being grown outside. But yeah, this, these are cute. I don't have too many Hoyas with small leaves, so I think that was pretty cute. So that was my unboxing for today. Um, I'll show you the plants one more time. Let's see, it's my ficus. So really cute. And Bricotta. Cantiana Varigata has some pink, not a lot though. And then this one, the one that's hard for me to pronounce. So, as much as I want to pop these up right now, I'm really worried that it's gonna end up like these ones and I'm scared that they're gonna fall, the leaves are gonna fall off. So, what I'm gonna, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to mist the moss that they're in. I'll let them acclimate for a week and then I'll try to pop them up. Cause for these ones, they didn't even come in moss. They came in um, like 80% perlite and soil, but, um, and wrapped in foil. So they were really um, moist, but in foil, I don't know, it doesn't help. But the leaves aren't doing that good. And I could also do an update on these ones. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys all have a great day. Thank you.